Hello everyone, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip at 45 Drives. Um, well, I guess it's more tech news at 45 Drives. Uh, last week we put a video out, uh, 45 Drives versus Legacy Vendors, when so Ashley did that. And one of the comments that came in was, uh, what is our operating system choice moving forward? Remember we talked all about uh, IBM Red Hat killing off CentOS as we know it. And Anyway, we made that decision internally, but in a kind of that comment prompted me of like, I never, we never really told the world about what 45 Drives is doing moving forward as our primary operating system choice. So, lo and behold, let's get into it. We'll talk about our decision and why we made it. All right, so before I uh, give away the fun stuff and give you my answer of where we're going with our operating system choice, um, just a quick rehash again. Remember, CentOS Linux as we know it, which was the downstream rebuild of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, uh, the stable, wonderful product that us and many people in the world uh, worked off of, has been um, uh, repositioned by Red Hat slash IBM as the upstream rebuild of, I guess it's not a rebuild at that point, an upstream build of RHEL. And so CentOS isn't going away. So my first question I want to just cover again real quick is like, so why are we moving away from CentOS? Well, the key word there was the switch from downstream to upstream. Um, stability and guarantees are the name of the game here. And that's what we loved about CentOS. And now that it's an upstream, we don't have that guarantee anymore. So we have to look elsewhere. So now let's get into the fun part. Moving forward, 45 drives, is no longer going to just have a primary operating system choice. We are going to have kind of two families of Linux that we support. We're going to take a look at Debian derivatives and RHEL derivatives. And to be a little more blunt and clear about that, it's going to be Ubuntu and it's going to be CentOS 7 until Rocky Linux, the spiritual successor of the CentOS project, is at a stable ready build. Okay, so with that uh, big announcement out of the way, let me give you a little more context of the decision we made here. So we felt that having kind of, well, at least two operating system choices uh, was key for three main reasons. And number one is no single point of failure. Uh, Canonical owns Ubuntu. Uh, IBM slash Red Hat does, does CentOS. Who's to say that um, one of those, particularly Canonical here, just says, nope, pulls the cord on Ubuntu and something changes. And then we go put all our eggs in that basket, and then, oh, here we are, <laughs> pulling the e-brake again, spinning around, making a plan B. We all learned a lesson from this CentOS thing here is nothing is too big to fail. Eventually something might change, so keep your options open. So there's one reason why we like, okay, we need to make our solutions work on multiple OSs, not just one primary. Two. We felt that uh, the Debian derivatives and the RHEL derivatives, and specifically Ubuntu and CentOS slash Rocky, is, covers the majority of the uh, Linux world. I know it doesn't fully encompass everything. Nothing does because it's humongous. But it is the majority of the, uh, of the servers out in the world are running either some sort of Ubuntu or some sort of a RHEL derivative. Um, and also, remember that it's Linux, right? Like the software whether it's ZFS or Ceph, it runs, on, it runs on CentOS, it runs in Ubuntu, Houston UI runs in both cockpit, it runs in both uh, Ubuntu, it runs in, in, in CentOS and soon to be Rocky. Um, the software works on, on either or, but the details are slightly different, the package managers are different. In, in RHEL it's YUM or DNF, in, in, in Ubuntu world it's APT or uh, Deb packages RPMs, in, in, your comp files in a slightly different path structure than on the other one. So where I'm getting at here is we want to offer our solutions to either sysadmin. The one who is a little more comfortable in RHEL, they can use RHEL-like systems, or the, those are a little more comfortable in uh, Ubuntu and those systems, they can, they, can use, uh, they can use that. My point is we want to make our end users and customers feel the most comfortable with the system they bought. Which leads me to my third point which I kind of touched on in two, all this software still runs no matter the operating system. If When we're doing our job here at 45 Drives, when we're building our Houston UI, when we're curating Ceph to work on all these nodes, you, the end user, really shouldn't care which one you picked. 
maybe that you are an Ubuntu guy, so you want everything to be APT. You want to be able to go and maybe install your own scripts that you made. Great, then buy a Ceph cluster on Ubuntu. Maybe you want to stick in the RPM land. Well, go over there. But anyway, those are the three reasons why we really did this. No single point of failure. We want to make everyone feel comfortable. And when, we, when, when, the, when the software tools are built right and are operating correctly, it shouldn't matter which un, uh, distro you're running underneath. So that's our decision with kind of supporting both of those families. Um, so what this is our, our mindset moving forward on what, what we're doing with our choice there. What are, what are we doing about an upgrade path? What if you're an existing customer with, with CentOS 7 or, or FreeNAS or something? What, where do you fit in? How do you get onto our new our, our path here with us? Well, long story short is don't worry, we got you guys covered. Remember who we are, we're 45 drives. We help people, we help people get to their end solution. If you want a little more detail on how you can upgrade to either Ubuntu or, or, or Rocky Linux when it's ready, uh, why don't you reach out to either your account manager or email us at Info45Drive. We'll take a look at your specific case and talk a little more about that. But really, I want to leave it with a, don't worry, we've always got you covered. Okay, so that's it for this week. So to sum up, those are uh, we're going to be shipping Ubuntu 20. We're going to be shipping CentOS 7 until Rocky's ready to go. And on the topic of Rocky, stay tuned. Uh, a lot of fun stuff going on over there. We are so lucky to speak to some of their team uh, at Rocky Linux. We 45 Drives, we are contributing members and we'll be talking more on exactly how we're going to be doing that. Um, my sweater's on its way, so I can't wait to wear that. And uh, I just can't say enough of how important that group of people who are building uh, Rocky Linux is. There, there are other RHEL clones popping up. You may be hearing them, Alma Linux, or that's the only one that comes to mind, but there are other ones too. No one is looking at this with the philosophy, design, and the like, we're not going anywhere attitude that Rocky Linux is trying to be here. They are going to be big contributing members to this enterprise Linux server world, and they're going to be for a long time. So we're really excited to get in early. I can't wait to get my hands on, on uh, an ISO release to start playing with that. Anyway, stay tuned. Lots of news, lots of stuff coming from 45 Drives and Rocky.